Hey everyone, it's Ian, the Off-Kilter Crafter. I hope you're having a great day today. It's hard to believe that we're actually getting so close to Halloween, even though it still feels like 100 degrees here in Texas, but it's true, we're getting closer and closer to Halloween, and now is the time to start your Halloween cards if you haven't already. And I'm gonna create this card today, simple and clean, but lots of fun. Let's go ahead and see how I put it together. Before I get started today, I do wanna show you, um, Halloween is one of my favorite holidays of the year. And I actually keep all of my Halloween stuff together in one spot. I use one of these project boxes. Oh, I can't open the lid because my light's gonna hit, it's gonna hit my light, hold on. Even picking up the box, I still hit my light. But anyways, these are project boxes. Um, I've seen them at uh, the container store. I've seen them at, um, I think at Walmart or Target. You can find them a lot of different places, but these are perfect boxes because they are a little bit larger than 12 by 12 so all of your 12 by 12 paper fits inside of it and i keep all of my halloween embellishments and halloween themed items in this box so that way i know exactly where they are and i can just reach and grab it so whenever i'm working on halloween cards around this time of year i know exactly where everything's at i have this stamp set from close to my heart which is a stamp and thin cuts which is their die cuts so I have my stamps and then I have their die cuts or dies I should say to make die cuts and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp out this cat. I'm going to stamp out its silhouette and then do some embossing for its little outline there. I'm going to do that on some 80 pound recollections paper um, and I'm just like I said I'm just going to stamp it black first. Uh, and then do the embossing powder after that and then I'll use the coordinating die to cut it all out. I'm going to use my VersaFine ink to stamp out the silhouette layer and I'll have to be very very careful and use my anti-static powder tool after I stamp this because I don't want the silhouette which I'm heat embossing I don't want the embossing powder to stick to my main image whenever I, oh hey, that didn't work out so well. I didn't put enough pressure on it, but that's okay. I have it in my stamp tool. I'll just stamp it up again, ink it up again, I mean, and stamp it again. Okay, I've got my lines all lined up and ready to go, and I am gonna put that anti-static powder tool on it to really try and help prevent as much embossing powder from sticking on my image as possible because I really, really, really don't want that to stick. If I was super smart, I would probably try and run some embossing powder over it already to make sure it's not going to stick, but I like living on the edge. So I'm gonna ink up my outline stamp with some Versamark, which is a clear sticky ink um, that should hopefully give me what I'm looking for. I'm hoping, crossing my fingers and we'll do some heat embossing. I don't know if I got the image 100% centered, but I think it's pretty close. I have some Brutus Monroe Penny uh, embossing powder, and I'm just gonna cover my image with this embossing powder first. There is a little bit that's sticking places I didn't want it to. Um, I probably should have hit, hit, that, hit it with a heating tool, but I think it's gonna work out okay. All right, here's what my image looks like. It is not 100%. Um, you can definitely see some of that powder sticked where I didn't want it to. But, I, you know, honestly, I think it kind of looks cool. It kind of looks like uh, patches of fur. And so I'm gonna run with it because I think it's, I think it's gonna work out okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the die cut and cut it out. I lied, I realized I needed to go ahead and stamp my, um, word Halloween as well so I'm just gonna line it up and use some more versifying and stamp that out. Okay I have my die cuts cut out and I think it works really nicely. Uh, I almost didn't get the corner of my word Halloween. Uh, my die was a little bit off and I almost missed out on the edge of the paper but it still made it everything's okay so I'm gonna set those off to the side I have my scoreboard and some Nina desert storm a hundred pound cardstock I'm gonna take my scoring tool and score at five and a half because I'm making a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card so I'll just score it right there and then get a nice crease how did I did I not do it at the right spot it's telling oh uh, kind of well, that's a little weird. It went a little wonky, uh, but you know, it happens. So anyways, <laughs> we'll 
<laughs> one side's gonna be a little longer than the other. It's fine. Um, if I really wanted to, I could take a paper trimmer and just trim that off. I don't know that I am. I think it's just fine. Now that I have my uh, card base all created, I'm gonna go ahead and tape off using some purple tape uh, right up here at the top. And I'm also going to create a little mask because uh, I want just the center area to actually have the ink on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mask off on either side here the width of the thicker purple tape. There are um, thinner purple tapes out there, but I want the um, thick one here because I want like a little stripe basically. I'm using three colors of Distress Oxides. If you joined me for my live where I made an envelope, I used the same color combination and I love it so much, I'm gonna keep running with it. Twisted Citron, Carved Pumpkin, and Wilted Violet. I'm gonna use my Picket Fence, uh, are these the actual Picket Fence ones? I can't remember, but I'm using a blender brush uh, to apply the Distress Oxides. And I love the Distress Oxides because um, you can really get a really good blend using these. And also, because we're doing it on the Desert Storm cardstock, you get a really awesome looking, like the colors are very vibrant vibrant even though they're on a darker cardstock um, it still feels like they're very very vibrant so I love that about the distress oxides I'm gonna keep working on this and uh, so that way you don't have to hear the rattling of the table I'll probably speed this up Okay, I have got my blend the way I think I want it. I'll pull the tape off, because that will definitely tell me whether or not this is what I was going for. I think it is, but well, let's take a look here. And of course, I create the card with the shorter side being the side that I color on, but oh well, it's not a big deal. This is what I was going for, and I like it, so I'm gonna keep it just like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and get everything cleaned up, so that way we can move on to the next step. Um, I'm one with the craft room, um. So I'm kind of laying out my card the way that I want it to be. And so I'm just, I'm kind of playing around with, do I want stuff centered? Do I want stuff, like how do I want, kind of want it to be laid out? And I think I'm going to probably use some more of that penny to do the happy can't figure out if I want it like in the center or like a little off center. Oh, maybe a little off center. No, it's so weird. But I think I do want the cat down here at the bottom hanging off a little bit from the edge of the colored strip. And I'm gonna work on um, laying out how I want this happy Halloween. I've once again used some Versamark ink to stamp out the happy. Ooh, I just saw it may not be 100% centered. Yep, it's a little bit off. Just hair, hair, hair off, but not a big deal. I think the Halloween will kind of distract from that, so not a huge deal. So I'm gonna take some more of that penny and I'm gonna go ahead and heat emboss this. Okay, now that I've heat embossed the happy, I am gonna use my dot liner to attach the cat and the Halloween. So again, I'm hanging the cat off the edge of our colored strip just a little bit, just to kind of match with my now crooked off-centered happy. And the Halloween will be centered. Okay, there it is glued down. I am now going to use some cat and bat dots from close to my heart. Uh, I think they kind of match this theme and I don't know which color I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna use, I kind of like the green ones even though I don't really have, or these turquoise ones. Or should I use one of each? I haven't decided yet. Okay, I think I'm gonna use definitely one of the black because I have a couple of black uh, little spots on here. It feels skewed a little bit to this side because I have the cat there. So I think I am going to add a couple of the black drops on this side. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. I always don't know, like, tend to not know when to stop, uh, but I think this will work because we've kind of got the triangle formulation going on 
and it is a odd number because I have five on there so that's kind of kind of sometimes the rule. So here's our finished card today. Just pretty simple and clean but still I think it's a lot of fun. It's hard to believe that Halloween is just around the corner. I definitely am not dressed for it, but it is gonna be here sooner than we think, and I can't wait. It's always my favorite time of year, and hopefully I'll be doing some more projects Halloween-related and pumpkin spice-related. I forgot I had that stamp set, but I do, and I can't wait to use it, because it is almost pumpkin spice latte season. Woohoo! I think that's gonna do it for today's video. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up and let YouTube know that you like my video, and hopefully they'll share it throughout YouTube land. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and get great updates every time I post a new video or go live by clicking the bell notification icon and clicking on all notifications. You can also get social with me down in the description below. I have all of my social media links listed down there. So come on over and say hello. I hope everybody has a great day. And remember guys, normal's just sitting on the dryer. Bye.